Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions YouTube channel. This is episode 11. In this video, I'll be taking apart my Technical Pro DB S40 decibel display. It's actually quite amusing what is inside of this. Wait till you see some of the goodness that is in here. Okay, so here's the power button. It's also the power light. Here's the bar to dot switch, just like on the previous meter, where it'll light up all of them or just a, a small amount. And there's the adjustments next to the switch. On the back, we have our audio input and output, right and left, and then the power input. There's also a voltage selector that'll allow me to select from 115 volts to 230 volts, depending where I'm using it. All right, so let's get in this thing and take a look around. And now two more screws on the other side. I've actually been inside this thing a couple of times. Uh, I had two different repairs I had to do. One was one of the channels intermittently cutting in and out. That turned out to be a bad solder joint and once I reflowed the solder it was fine. The other repair, those four lights were not even lighting up and that turned out to be a lifted and broken solder trace. When I get in there, I'll point out my bypass wires I put in there. They're not pretty, but they work. All right, here's our main power supply with the transformer. And then there's the back of the power switch, which also has a power indicator light. This is the board I had to repair when one of the channels was cutting in and out. And then here's where I had to bypass the broken solder traces. Now this doesn't look quite as bad as it did uh, when I first did this repair. The whole thing was covered in hot glue that I had to chip away at and so I could get at these solder joints. And here's quite an amusing little uh, botch solder joint that they did from the factory. I do have to say, with all the little flaws I've found with it, it does work and it doesn't add noise to my equipment. So I'm happy about that. So now let's take a look at this front board where I had to repair those solder traces. There really isn't much to this front circuit board. It's all single-sided through-hole. Here's the adjusters I mentioned at the beginning of the video. They adjust the sensitivity. And then the main board, as you can see here, doesn't have much on it. Pretty simple.
Now these chips are the LM3915. Just like on the previous meter I took apart. Again, I'll put a link in the description just like I did before. They're the controller chips that control the lighting. The transistors are 2N5401. I'll put a link in the description for the data sheet for that as well. Okay, now it's time to put the cover back on. Actually, real quick before I put the screws back in, let's uh, take see if we can get a close look at the traces that were cracked and lifted. It was right in here. They were lifted and broken, and I was able to get in there and solder some little bypass wires. Fortunately, it's very easy to work on. It's very old style, through hole, single sided circuit boards. Not much to it. Very easy. Okay, now let's put the cover on again, and this time put it together. And now we'll start putting the screws back in again. It's such a thin sheet metal that most of these screws are already stripped out. Of all these eight screws on the top, only three tightened. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.